Thank you, the American Black Film Festival back in Miami, bringing A-list actors and directors right here to the Magic City. And not only are movies and shows premiering this weekend from the big recognizable mm -hmm. names we all know and love, but newcomers as well. Our entertainment reporter Alexis Frazier has more on exactly what you can expect. From Oscar-winning filmmakers to the ones you need to watch out for, the American Black Film Festival, also known as ABFF, features it all. I got to speak with a Miami native who is planning on making her mark and the Oscar winner who is changing the conversation about hair. The stars are here for the 27th American Black Film Festival. I think ABFF is one of the main pioneers of what we do, our artistry. The annual event empowers black artists, showcasing a wide range of entertainment content. Being exposed to films that are from us is very important and to be given this platform. The festival bringing together black culture enthusiasts, executives, and content creators from around the world for five days of screenings, talk events, and high-powered networking. They always have a a rate experience. Oscar winner Matthew Cherry says this is where his book Hair Love first got recognized. He turned it into a short which earned him his first Oscar. Just took a little bit of work and a whole lot of love. And now he's continuing the story with a new show called Young Love about a millennial couple who hasn't achieved their goals just yet and they're raising a daughter. It's a multi-generational story so you know we'll, we'll introduce some uh, some, some grandparents in there too. So it's really just something that the entire family can watch and uh, hopefully see themselves in and the various characters. Also premiering at the festival. I don't want to be special. She don't see that. I just, I want to be normal. Chidira, a short film that was written, produced, and co-directed by Miami native Shopei Aluko, a coming of age story of a teenage girl who was born with locks in her hair. Oops, I'm, I'm sorry. I I didn't think you'd notice with all that junk in your hair. And that's real in our culture. So children who are born with locked hair are considered spiritual beings, just like Samson from the Bible, and they have gifts. So they either have gifts of vision or gifts of prophecy or any kind of gifts um, of healing, things like that. So it's something that's very much involved in our culture, but they never talk about it. That's until now, Aluko has made many career changes before this moment and is ready for the world to see it. ABFF runs until June 25th, so you still have time to make it to some of the screenings. For more information, just head to our website, local10.com.